All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Wonder, Wonder Egg Priority, Priority season, season one, one, episode two. Damn oh, that boy. first episode. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. This is a this is a bit of a of a, of a trauma trauma mm. show. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, Caleb. Why'd you say that? Yeah, yeah. What? what? No, you... it's super lighthearted and feel good. Nothing bad will ever happen. Yeah, but first we have to meet our hyper-competent, not Homura. Yeah, um, yeah, that's uh, just turning that crank for all yeah. the eggs. Yeah, just, mm -hmm. just like, she goes off. Like, but, she's, but, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is something, though, that I'm very interested to get into because the first episode, fantastic opening first episode, right? Mm -hmm. But... It didn't necessarily give us a vibe of what the show will be like as a whole, right? right. Because that that episode could have just been that one episode, right? We don't yeah. necessarily need to meet Kuromi again, right? Nope. So, what we'll, we'll get from here on out, you right. know? I think that this episode will very much set the idea as to what the pattern will be. Yeah. Because I get the vibe that it's actually going to be pretty episodic for Probably. the most part because of and the I'm all eggs for that. being what they are right so that's that's its own thing but the idea of the world surrounding that mm -hmm. creates the things where these eggs right. are even what a thing. the hell is this bug you know like well yeah. what's what's their deal yeah you know mm -hmm. i don't and trust part it. of this is also the stuff that's wrapped up in the how meta is this versus mm. how um how real is any of this you sure know? like yeah like the idea right of, mm -hmm. yeah 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 mm -hmm. so y'all Without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below and come back here for the discussion. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. That Good was, episode. That, that, was uh, that was a that was a tough one because mm -hmm. I uh, did not like how <laughs> gross the the the, the monster coach was. was yeah oh yeah that, that was, was that was that was that was, uh, that was really um, nasty like in, I'm, in madoka magica as a comparison just because we, we mm. I, keep, I keep seeing the comparisons here um the usual parts of it were not so uh liquidy and nasty well, liquidy and nasty but then also there wasn't a there wasn't uh. a specific uh there was less specific reasoning as for why the things looked the way they did and and it wasn't as um it wasn't as easy. To it wasn't as nasty it to a like, human being, right? It exactly. Felt alien more often than not. Yeah, like, like this, this. Some some deep rooted fear of you know something that then comes yeah. back to haunt them. But oh. this is like this is like like a, a present like a present thing that they have to deal with. Yeah, then yeah, hyper dramatized mm -hmm. look at what a more feminine looking well monstrosity with all the appendages that are i think representing of the idea of you need to have like the the perfect, the perfect figure form. right so all of the appendages are the legs and the the arms well you know? and even the the you know giant boobs and stuff well yes that that mm -hmm. too but if you looked at the arms and the uh um uh the the legs specifically mm -hmm. it almost looked like they were like they had these things around the wrists and stuff but it gave oh, me the okay. vibe of like cuffs, like things yeah. that chain someone up. Like sure. look at them here. There's, yeah, there's yeah. a good look. Now they're clearly just a cloth looking thing here. Mm -hmm. But it But yeah, the aesthetic the aesthetic is is um very particular. Yes. And and I gotta say, I actually really like that it transformed into this monster because it would have been a I would have had a much harder time dealing with this thing in the conflict and stuff. Mm -hmm. If it continued to be human form, yeah, because yeah, like, I, I know what you mean. It like, would have been more horrifying. Yeah, really. exactly. This like, is more just gross. And yeah, it, right. Like, yeah. and and there's um, there's a few angles that can be you know taken with that. I think is on the one hand, it's the um, this is what the the coach really felt like to 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 Minami, right? Right. You know, they're this they're this monstrous you know entity, right? That is that is terrorizing them. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, it's the Ah, they they must not be a person because what person would ever do this? Sure, you know there's a dehumanization aspect, but yeah. that's because they it's, were dehumanizing Minami. So right, and and yeah. the and the fact that Minami was like okay with it, you know, like yeah, like ah yes, that's uh, I deserve this. Yep, yep, right, it's, it's my fault. You know all that. Yeah, all that stuff. It don't hurt other people. This is something that I I deserve. Right, I'll here. do better. I promise. I'll listen to all your God, instructions. I, I I very much have 
a more direct relation mm. to the comparison of the uh, the coach dynamic yeah. versus the one in the first episode that I I very much like like I, I understand the the motion and the plight of it but this one is one i've more directly seen like it's mm. one i've 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 personally not experienced from being on the receiving end of this but but yeah. i have seen other people directly experiencing it and it it enrages me to 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 no end because there's this aspect of where the coach in this instance usually has zero idea that they are traumatizing the the the, mm. the student basically yeah. the one who's coming to them to gain the skill right because usually when the things get more competitive mm -hmm. it's actually accepted by the parents sure to be like no 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 like like whip them into shape like get mm -hmm. get them like get them yep. get them going and li and literally I use the phrase whip them into shape to get you to like look at the the shit yeah. the, the the shittiness of this phrase and go like. Oh my god! And and the thing Wait, is, are you a taskmaster of with your right. little slaves running around? And and the the thing that's oh. the thing that's insidious and, and and disgusting about this is that um, uh, there is an element of that that can be um, uh, healthy when you take it upon yourself because that's something that you're able to make the decision of of you want to undergo the pain in order to get in in order to reap the reward right 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 that's, but that's, that's a self choice no 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 exactly exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. and and working and I, out yeah exactly yeah great great example you know and, and that literally works here because she keeps mentioning how your your figure is right. lost because yeah ugh, ew. and <clears throat> but the problem is is that when you're a kid one yeah. You might not necessarily be able to make that decision, and two, oftentimes there is no even pretense about it being your yep, decision. Exactly. Right? You're put in it because it's something that your parents sign you up for, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right? And and the the permission that is gotten by the coach maybe is from the parents, not from you. Yeah. Right? Like, and in some ways, I would say it should be a little bit. Sure. Because the parents' main job in the animal kingdom down to the mm -hmm. every single thing is that the parents job is to make sure that the child survives childhood into right. adulthood and are ready for the demands of society well we're right right but but, but no. gives them the proper tools necessary to be an adult to replicate the process mm -hmm. yep now that's basic survival stuff yep. we are a very advanced species evolution wise for, for mm -hmm. the most part and we have society, we have culture, we have all this other stuff in there. Yep. So what comes about is being a base need, survival. Mm -hmm. That's base. There's things that we get the privilege of being able to demand of not just society, but those in our immediate environment that are above survival. Right. Like, we're talking about things like... Um, you know things that go into like desires well or, or or even things like um like social etiquette like you know yeah, like yeah. like things of like when the when the when the kid is on the playground and they're and they're learning the the social dynamics of you know just yeah. interacting with Don't other people smack johnny just exactly because right he like said something weird you right know? if if you know if you do that then johnny will probably smack you back and depending on how it goes a couple of johnny's friends might also you know smack you right and then like, the society will see that they're going after you hopefully and be like whoa 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 right. stop this but but that's something where society might decide against you and things like that and so you know all these all these things where it's like there there are lessons that need to be learned but in that and that's why i think something like this is so nasty because yeah. it comes from a place of something that can be good right mm -hmm. but then it takes it into such a twisted way yeah right that yeah. it becomes monstrous yeah i i just have a like a, a real personal issue with this because when I how can had, adults be so blind? Well, no, no. It's because I've seen how blind they get. Mm, mm -hmm. I, I don't question it. I know how yeah, they yeah. get so blind <laughs> right. with this. Is that they willingly go into this mm -hmm. and use literally the verbiage that she uses there. Sure. Not all of it, of course, because mm -hmm. that, some of that's just... That's the kind of thing that puts you in jail like immediately. Well, you would hope so. Well, you would hope, yes. Yeah. But... There's the other stuff that she was saying that was a lot more s subtle and the uh, or yeah uh, the kind of thing where context matters, of course. But um, you look at it 
outside of the context and you go, no, actually, that shouldn't be your verbiage sure. at all. Right. There's there's the things that are like the, I'll end you painlessly. And it's like, okay, that's the monster talking, that's right? Monster, you know. yeah. But then there's the things of like, ah, I'm requested by, you know, all these different groups and I have I have clout with the the association and and it's like, oh, yeah, no, these are these are specific things that Minami yeah. heard her coach say right. as the justifications to others, but then also probably to herself as yep. well, of like, I am in the right here. I can do no wrong, right? Mm -hmm. This is this is all healthy and good. Because because we're gonna make you into the the mm -hmm. perfect figure with the perfect, you know, gym yep. gymnastic ability and what have you, and then you'll go to the competition right. and you'll look good and that'll probably make me look good. And then I'll go yep. tell all of them that it was my training that made you this way. There's a very cool thing that I've seen happen in a lot of anime that I don't see usually in um, Western media as much because mm. I feel like the bullying from the coach to the the, the player mm -hmm. angle is a little bit different mm -hmm. um, and it's those it's usually the will win at any cost sure in this case it's the it's the pride angle a little bit more where it's the ah, yeah. I own you so therefore you're going to boost me socially right in the in the uh, in the Western media that I've seen it's usually the go and basically just kill the other kids to to mm -hmm. win like you 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 have right. i'm going to break you down into kind of the equivalent of a soldier yeah where then i will like make you just viciously competitive right i unleash you kind of a thing yeah, yeah. yeah exactly mm -hmm. and i i rile up that anger and i they even yeah. tap into hatred to make you hate the other team or what have you mm -hmm. but in this it's more of the well you're getting judged so this sport doesn't really work as much for that so i think it's the perfect way to showcase that there's a there's this um, I saw it, like there's this thing with, with hands, and that's why it really really unnerved me with the, mm -hmm. the monster's design, is that the hands are all grabby and then they yeah. get on you, and then you realize that it's all about that control of you, and then the way she's smacking her, and it's like that's something that probably literally happened. Now, oh, yeah. did it happen exactly that way? Right, it she might not matter. have been choking her off the ground with the other hand, yeah, it, but it you does know. not matter. The, yeah. the, the point is, is that this kind of stuff is how the child perceives it, right? And it is traumatizing and it does happen mm -hmm. with yeah. people in some ways kind of signing off on it yep and that's oh, where the that's, that's why it ends up happening right and that's where the you know the we have those things again what are they right. called uh, oh, the, the, the little, see no little, eagles eh. yeah thank yeah. you thank and you. i'm glad that they're a i'm glad that they're a recurring thing because as far mm -hmm. as like a named bit of world building and stuff right they I, I love them. I love them so much. Right. I, I hope they exist in every bullying situation exactly, or abusive right. situation. Yeah. And the thing, exactly, because um, in the same way that Oto, in the situation with Koito, mm -hmm. there was elements of where, and we haven't fully understood exactly what it is yeah, yet. Yeah, but I'm there's elements to get the of, of feeling like, oh, I didn't do enough, shame, guilt, mm -hmm. all that stuff. I, I just watched, right? And here, there would have been, you know, equivalents of that. Whether it's the other yeah. people on the team, whether it's the, the the teachers or the parents or things like that, and maybe maybe because you know of how esteemed this coach is, they are willing more willing to turn a blind eye. Or oh no, kid, you're just blowing things out of proportion. It's it's not really that bad, you know. It's like you know yeah. taking the coach's word above their child's, or you know who knows, right? Right. But yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, it's messed up. The idea, though, that Koito had her hide in the locker and record it. Yeah. Record now, the bullies. This is where things get, I think, a little bit complicated. Yeah. Is that she failed the request of Koito in some way. Now, what I think it is, is that it, she's wanting, at the very least, something to get recorded. She recorded audio, right? Mm-hmm. So someone could match up the voices and probably yeah. understand who that was. Mm -hmm. But as to what they were doing, maybe uh, that's the issue. Although, maybe... They, all they could just be is like, no, 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 we were just not playing. what happened. Yeah, yeah that's not what happened. You didn't actually see it. So maybe what she was supposed to do sure. was to jump out of the locker and uh, catch maybe. them in the act doing whatever the bullet well, was. Or even just get like a better camera angle so that, that way it's like... You know, right? Because because you could you could tell that she was kind of fidgeting and stuff, and probably because she got scared even in the locker. Yeah, and then so maybe she, she didn't get a good shot. But the other thing that I was also kind of wondering, I was I wasn't I wasn't, I wasn't, oh, I wasn't done it. with this. I just wanted to say I think this is the main source of the reason why she blames herself hmm. is because she was literally given the 
really good, smart way to catch the bullying in the act and thus maybe present it to teachers mm -hmm. and faculty and be like, you need to punish these girls specifically here right. because they're doing a bunch of he said, they said, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet, because of her not stepping out here and she wanted to be included still, she mm -hmm. feels like yeah, I I failed her there. Yeah, the the th the being scared of feeling left out that made me think that she maybe did something to make it so that she wouldn't get ostracized even with the video footage because then there's the question of well, how you know do they would they have known who who recorded it they probably well, they, would have been able can't. to figure that out no 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 right with this video footage there's mm -hmm. nothing that implicates Oto oh no no not in any kind of proof way. No, no, no. But you don't need proof for bullying. No, no. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I'm not saying that. I think we're. I think we're. I think either I'm not understanding. What are okay. you saying? Is that the bullies would know that Oto is the one that recorded the video? Yes. Oh, I would say no. There's no way because all she has to do is send the video to, um, uh, mm -hmm. to Koito, and yeah. Koito presents the video. Oh, totally, totally. Yeah. But they would know that someone would have had to record the video, with her to help her out. And then they could have just been like, oh, who's her one friend? Because we've bullied her enough that, you know, like, oh, oh, you know. And then, oh, yeah, no, it definitely would have been her one friend, other friend at school. And then there you go. Boom. She's getting bullied, too. And and even if that's not something that would have necessarily happened, oh. if there's enough fear that that would have happened, that could be enough for Oto to do something that she re later regrets of like being like, oh, no, um, th like she deletes the video or, yeah, or she that's literally or what she, I thought of. Or she oh, goes no. back on the video and gives some contrary, like, you know, report or something like that. Or who knows? Or right? just said she didn't record, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. I got scared. Yeah. I, I, I didn't want to get left out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're I think you're I think you're right on the money there. I didn't think about the idea of uh, Koito not having any friends. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about it from the standpoint that there's no reason for the bullies to actually see the video. The oh, teacher sure. does not owe oh, the bullies that, yeah. anything to show them the video. All that's, she needs to true. say is that at some point, mm -hmm. we caught you guys in 4K you know, <laughs> right. doing XYZ to Koito. Mm -hmm. um, you are all now under like some yeah. some specific disciplinary punishment, action. Dis yeah, disciplinary yeah. stuff or whatever. Yeah. But yes, the reverse bullying, mm -hmm. not reverse bullying, but the, the, the bullying of those the, that yeah. catch the bullies... Mm -hmm is a total thing that happens. Right. I had um, uh, I had only really one instance where I'm proud of the fact that I kind of stood up to someone getting bullied, mm -hmm. but it was actually in an adult setting, which I I, I, oh, yeah. I, I, I hold to this very strongly. There are aspects of the way that adults bully that are actually grosser than the kids hmm. because the adults do it extremely passive aggressively. And also they do it through what I would call um, pretty uh, callous gossip. It's it's social manipulation. Oh, okay, sorts. sure, yeah. And I, right, it's no longer socially acceptable to you know hit someone, right? Because you you could have serious ramifications for yeah, that. Yeah. So then it's the it's the yeah. it's the social manipulation it's the alternative. It's, yeah. it's the feeding lies to people that are the friends of the yeah. person that you're wanting to hurt. And I had a, I had an instance where I was in a house situation where there was a bunch of my roommates, um, you know, just chilling, eating food and stuff. And one of them starts going off about someone that we're all somewhat connected to, but they're like kind of targeting it specifically to a couple of their closer friends to seemingly like just denounce mm -hmm. the person. And I know they're they're feeding not only like stuff that's like somewhat like misleading. You oh, know, uh -huh. like it's something that could be true if you looked at it in a specific way, but then they're taking that and then adding all this other stuff on top of it, and like you gotta you gotta call people out on that bullshit. Yeah. Like that's yep. that's some nonsense. So so this here, um, it's one thing. I I I was completely kicked out of their friend group. The people that I oh, called uh -huh. out on that, they were like, yeah, we're we're not gonna really hang out with you anymore. Right, because because you did that, yeah, and um, yeah, so that that's its own thing with adult stuff. But but sorry, in in this case with the video and stuff, that is very much a thing that happens, and and that's a good point to bring it up within the context of 
logically, the bullies are smart enough to then realize, mm -hmm. oh, so, well, she was she never videoed us, so obviously right. someone else had to have done it. Yeah, in order for them to actually have proof of what we did, they would have, you know, like. Although, although all she has to do maybe is lie and say that I put, propped up a phone somewhere. You idiots didn't check the room. You didn't look around. Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's really yeah. That's really something that I've seen happen with, um, well, not seen, but uh, more heard of people where they're in abusive situations, especially domestic mm -hmm. uh, abuse situations. They prop up the phone somewhere in the room. Yeah. And they either get audio or visual or both. And that person is done. That yep. person is done. Yep. And like, I'm glad. And I'm glad that they had the foresight to basically take preemptive measures, mm -hmm. right? Because you know, if you're already going to be enduring this kind of you know abuse and stuff, you might as well try and try and get something out of it, right? Yeah. And and there, there you go. Yeah. And 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 they got they got something. Whether it whether it would end up being enough, who knows? Well, the other she killed herself. So well, right. The so. The other thing that I was kind of wondering about, they brought up mm. this idea with um, the other girl, I forget her name, but the- Me No, 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 the, uh, the, the, the girl that was um, trying to save her sister. Oh, um, oh, yes. Uh -huh. they, they dropped her name this episode, but- um, Yeah, it's okay. Uh, is that maybe she's doing this because she wants to die, right? And that's why she's not, uh, and that's why she's not afraid. And gotcha. once they talked about not being afraid, then it cut to Koito. Mm -hmm. Neru, that's right. Yeah, Nehru Aonuma. Right. So if um, if Oto recognized some element of that, of wanting to die and as such you're not scared in Koito, is there a possibility that what Koito actually wanted, and um, this is... That actually uh, might not be her name. This is a corporate, like... It says vice president on this. So maybe that's like a business card of her parents or something. And but Nehru is her last name or something. Well, I, I, I'm actually maybe well, the fact that she's kind of like shocked about it. Maybe well, maybe okay. it's more stuff about what this kind of of the world. The world, yeah, it's more of world Possibly. based stuff. But but regardless of of what her name is, mm -hmm. um, yeah. if Koito, if Oto recognized some elements of that fearless because you want to die, sure. you know, and you're going to get the thing that you want in Koito, then um, what if the video footage was not actually to get the bullying to stop, but oh. it was so that when she killed herself, they would know who caused it? Oh, it's like a, yeah, it's like a thing that can be used multiple ways. It's not just mm -hmm. a, yeah. And now, now, <sighs> jeez. That doesn't necessarily need to be what it is. But if it was something like that, that would make it even... going on in Koito's head at the time. Right, right, exactly. But that would make it even more traumatizing for Oto because then mm. she would have been being used to prep for the suicide yeah, of her friend, you know? I, I, yeah, that's just, that's just, oh, it's just so... Ugh, I don't want to make yeah. assumptions there. So that's... Right. that's mm. all, all we know is that she's under the belief on some level that she can maybe save her Koito. friend though right and she does a lot of this stuff with the eggs it, well and that's the basically trying to bring her back from the dead which i get the feeling isn't going to work out but yeah but what are this is maybe uh, just another mm -hmm. world building thing that we'll get later but i'm like what kind of what kind of world is this where uh -huh. we're hopping so quickly back and forth not just between you know, some kind of extra reality and then reality, mm -hmm. but also within the, just the past of all that stuff there where it's like there's this drip feed of what was going on. Mm -hmm. And I am not the kind of person who is known for making uh, <laughs> great logical leaps with regards to my uh, theories. Uh huh. But there was a bit that kind of kind of worried me. Mm -hmm. And it's this bit here where we see, uh, oh, you know, maybe she really wants to die. You know, that's why she's fearless. And then we see the spoosh going into the water. Right. And, and then, then we, we cut, cut to over Koito. to Koito. Koito looks dead inside. Mm -hmm. But putting on that fake smile. Putting on that fake smile. An adult walks behind her going a direction. Right. Immediately with that, she turns and follows, I assume, him. I'm, in that direction. What my my takeaway from that is that she's she has the video evidence and she's basically saying, here it is. 
you know, it's the it's the meeting with the principal or whatever with mm -hmm. like one of the teachers or something, and it's yeah. the this is what was going on. You know, I love that you. That was basically the the, the first thing I thought of was mm -hmm. that the teacher that asked, "Do you hate me?" I get uh, it now. Right. Yeah. It's the teacher that didn't stop this. Right. Now, Whether because he wasn't aware of it or turned a blind eye or whatever. But the mm -hmm. girls who were bullying her said that she was getting preferential treatment oh. from a teacher. Then they start bullying her in a way that's jealous. Yeah. And while it's and and Oto says, well, you're a transfer student, so of course Sure. Yeah. yeah. Wanting yeah. to make sure that you're taken care of properly. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I have, But if it's not but I have a bit of a pessimistic view of these kinds of things when it comes to a show that's based around power abuse, trauma situations. Yeah. Especially with young girls. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and then the next one we had is a gymnast, and I've just there's been some stuff that's happened mm -hmm. in the real world recently in the world of gymnasts and um, abuse of power. So I'm a bit uh, mm -hmm. sensitive in that area right now. Yeah. And then we have this guy coming mm -hmm. over to check up on Oto. Which and could be totally legit. You know, could like, be it, completely innocent. You know, and and if it is, then then good for him of you know, of bringing her homework assignments and stuff. But I am not the most optimistic. But what person if it's also it a thing of like the... I need to make sure that she didn't find out anything? Mm hmm Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But she said that she didn't hate him, so well, that's the that's the proper response when you have a when you have an older person in the uh, sure. environment. Okay, there. Th th that's that's true. That that felt robotic to me. The oh, I don't I don't hate you. That's like right. But the, the I, I guess no the fact that it's that. that it's robotic made me made me think that it's the I like not really. I don't hate you. You know, it's the it's the this isn't your fault, but I'm also in a really bad place right now, so it's, I don't want to interact with anybody, right. you know? Right, yeah, and she's a little kid, like... Yep, yep. Like, like, 14, 15, or something. Probably like, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah. like... Yeah. Like, I, mm, mm -hmm. I was just saying my, uh, my sussy baka, like, uh, <laughs> thing is, is triggered, mm -hmm. and it's because I'm already, I think, a little bit, like... <laughs> Triggered by just the show in general, so I'm now like yeah. bloodhound. Like, where's the <laughs> right? And and while like like when 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 he said that, there was a part of me that was like, okay, it's probably that thing where like in anime, a lot of the times it's the oh, if you don't like a person, that means you hate them, right? You know, it's like, whoa, yeah, hold yeah. on, you know, maybe lost in translation. I don't know. You but know, now looking at the context there is the of it, definite possibility it makes of it sense. Being well, right, but also that. at the very least, the one that she would hate. Mm -hmm. first after the bullies because he is the one in power that could have stopped this right but he didn't yeah. either because he had no idea and they were mm -hmm. really good at hiding it or you know koito and did not give any like words to the teachers or right the faculty that she was getting bullied but another way of looking at it is that if um even if he had no idea of it which is a very good chance that he wouldn't because if they're bullying her for the attention that he gives her they especially wouldn't want him to find out yeah right but two, he inadvertently kind of caused it yes, by giving her point. special treatment, right? Point. Now, now, while she uh, back then justified it of, of course, he's giving you, you know, a bit of extra attention. You're a transfer student, right? There's a possibility that maybe that could have changed, or you know, or who knows, whatever, right? But yeah, but yeah, yeah. This is where we're at, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we're gonna potentially make a new friend here, though. That's right. That's that's Eat something. Some burgers that's some, and some stuff. positive stuff that can we happen got a smile. And that's something that can't be a taken taken away from us. I still want to know what they're using to buy the eggs. That doesn't make sense. Probably just money, but yeah, the the no, bug. But but they're they're not in the this like there's no way this is the real world. I don't know. Maybe it's they're entering some kind of like a like a space right. of sorts. I feel like I feel like since it hasn't been brought up of exactly what the cost is, it's not necessarily relevant to the story and it oh. could and it could be it could be just a thematic element of um I 
Because 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 I'm guessing that since she's gotten multiple eggs now, she has paid the price, and it's not something that she worries about. Now we could find out later that it's like, oh, no. Remember they said the first one is free. It no, no, was no yeah, yeah. In the first episode, that there is a payment mechanic. Totally, totally. But that since the payment mechanic has been being done without us knowing what it is, you know, just that there is a payment that might that might mean that it's something that's more or less harmless and it's more of just showing that it does come at a cost to you and that you need to have some whatever yeah, yeah. you know or mm-hmm. this story could not be perfect in that it doesn't introduce all the mechanics because this is actually a lot like Madoka Magica and the cost sure. is extremely important and it's the fact that Oto doesn't think about what the cost is or doesn't value herself or enough doesn't value to, enough mm-hmm. herself to actually understand what the cost is so sure. She's going through all this in the same way that the new character was just right. grr, 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 because maybe she does not value herself in that respect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 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 yeah. I I disagree entirely at the idea that the cost doesn't matter. It's just that they're not thinking about it, and that's a problem. <laughs> that's it could that's, be a problem. That no that that is a problem. I I'm very. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, I, I am very much on the on the train of don't trust the cockroach or the cicada or the bug or whatever or, it is or the voice just yeah. yeah 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 yeah. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there, and all of this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah. So if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time